Alright people, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the mat or wherever you are. My name is Toby, I'm normally a yoga instructor, but um, today I just came from the gym, from a workout. And this session will be like an after workout stretch or post workout stretch. So things you can do when you were in the gym or you're still in the gym and you feel like you should do something for your mobility, for your flexibility. This is the session you should do eventually. <laughs> so we will cover up a uh, lot of stretches, different parts of the body. We will do almost everything which we can cover in a short amount of time. We try to hold stretches for around 30 seconds to 60 seconds so we get the benefit from the stretch because we, when we hold it shorter, there's almost I wouldn't say no benefit, but um, we earn the benefits more when we over 30 seconds to around 60 seconds. So no yoga stuff today. You can keep your shoes on, you can keep your socks on if you want. Um, I will be barefoot, but do whatever feels right for you. We start seated right away. Find a seat, pull your left leg in, bring the right leg in front of it. If you can, bring the feet as wide as the knees, straighten your back and around your spine forward. Place the hands on the ground or if you can, place the forearms on the ground. Try to keep the sit bones on the ground and sink in. You can round your spine here, you can wiggle around, always feel free to wiggle around actually. It feels nice to explore the space, to see what is else there. Don't be just static. Be exploratory in the things you do here. Slowly rise up, switch sides. Right leg closer to you, left leg in front of you. Feet as wide as the knee. Straighten your spine and then roll it down. Place the hands on the ground or the forearms or maybe even your head or your chest whatever is coming to the ground try to release tension try to get softer with every exhale after workout after a strong session we want to chill out physically but also mentally we maybe want to have a break and also through slower breathing calming our nervous system with the breath we earn benefits for our physical system. Maybe we don't get so sore. Maybe we don't keep the tension we build up over the gym session. And we feel a bit lighter, a bit freer in our movement. And in our being. Slowly roll up. Bring the soles of the feet together. You can keep them as wide away from you or as close to you as you want. You will feel different sensations in your inner thighs when you do so. Push the soles together, maybe grab the feet or the legs, straighten the spine and then push the knees down. Push the knees down, straighten the spine. Breathe here. Now we want to pull the knees down, so make those butterfly swings or pulses or whatever you want to call it. You pull them down, you push down, you let go of it, push down, let go, push down, let go, push down, let go. And then you let go and you round your spine forward, sink into it again. Round your spine, maybe bring your chin to your chest actually. You can also pull yourself in deeper if you want, but it's not necessary at all. You can just hang out here.
slowly roll up. Come on to hands and knees. Come on to hands and knees. Walk the hands forward. Maybe in the knees backwards. The legs or the upper legs want to stay perpendicular to the ground. The hands walk as much forward as you want. Have the arms a bit wider than shoulder width apart and then sink the chest down. You can come onto the fingertips if you want a bit more. Or you can just keep the palms on the ground and let the head land, maybe even the chin or the chest and sink into your shoulders. We build up a lot of tension, have a lot of stiffness in our shoulders, especially when we train them a lot. When we train chest, when we train shoulders, when we train the upper body, we build so much tension in our shoulders and they get stiffer and stiffer over time so we should always spend some time on our shoulder flexibility Slowly pull yourself forward, land in the swings pose. So the elbows are under your shoulders, the forearms are shoulder width apart, roll the shoulders back, pull the ground towards your neck as long, pull your chest forward. Push your hips into the ground, stay here for just a moment, it's tr just a transitional pose, but also feel good pose. And then release, straighten the left arm to the left side. Roll to your left hip, step the right foot over you and behind you and roll to the left shoulder as much as you can or as much as you want. Breathe here. Be here. Slowly come back to the middle, straighten your right arm, roll to your right outer hip, step the left foot over, same thing on the other side, chill out, roll to the right shoulder, let the head drop maybe, or let, that, let it float. Come back to center, straighten the left arm again, out to the left side, but this time in an angle. Maybe if you're on the mat, to the corner of your mat, maybe it's just like a 45 degree angle and not a 90 degree angle. And then turn around. Be careful now, it will be more intense or a different sensation than before. So you probably can't go as deep and that is okay. We are more in the chest muscle now and not in the shoulder area. Maybe you feel even your biceps or some pull, some stretch in your arm area. Switch to the other side, right arm in an angle. Oh. And then roll to the right hip, same thing here. Release, come to the middle, push the hands into the ground, come back into the tabletop position. Turn the hands around so the fingertips are pointing towards the knees, palms facing the ground, pull the shoulder blades apart, lean back. Feel a stretch in your forearms. Breathe into it. Push the fingertips lightly into the ground. And then release. Step your left foot forward, slowly come up. We are in a crouch position or in a kneeling position. 
we push the left knee forward, we try to roll, roll the right hip forward. And we chill here. You can rest your hands, your arms on your left leg. And you try to push your right hip actively forward. You don't want to flare open to the right side. You want to roll it forward and sink into it. Maybe you feel a stretch in the front of your right leg. Maybe somewhere in your left hip. Pay attention to your upper body. Let it be straight. Let it be almost perpendicular to the ground. Maybe tuck your pelvis in if this is possible for you. And then slowly shift back. Bring your fingertips to the ground. And then straighten your left leg as much as you can. Straighten the left leg. We are in a half split position. If you have blocks or something around, it's always nice to have the hands higher. But if you don't have them, don't worry about it. Bring the fingertips to the ground or have the leg slightly bent, which is also fine. Try to push the heel into the ground and maybe pull the ground towards you a bit. You want to pull the left hip back. And if you can, you straighten your spine, your lower back a bit more. And we stay here. And we are a bit engaged, a bit flexy, and we lean into it. If you feel super uncomfortable here, because I know this area can be quite shortened or tense, Bring yourself up higher, really use blocks or anything that supports your hands so you can stay up higher and you don't need to roll in here and feel super tense and tight. Slowly shift forward, bring your left leg back, step your right foot forward, same on the other side. Right foot pushes into the ground, let the hands rest on your knee, straighten your spine, maybe roll the pelvis down, push the left hip forward and sink into it. Breathe here. Slowly shift back, straighten your right leg, same thing. Fingertips to the ground or onto an object. Push the heel into the ground, pull the right hip back, toes pull to the face. Right leg as straight as possible. If your right leg is not possible, is not straight, that is totally fine. Don't worry about it. As long as you feel a sensation in the back of the right leg, that is perfect. Again, if you can, straighten your spine and then lean forward. Bend your leg, bring your right knee back, come to a seat again, just for a moment. If you're on a mat, face the long side of the mat, place the hands to the ground behind you and come into a passive squat position. So the feet are hip width apart, maybe a bit wider even, and you sit here. Perfect position to stay, to rest, to hang out, or even to work and do other stuff. Straighten your spine a bit. Bring the hands together. Push the upper arms into your inner legs, and then pull the hands down. Bring the legs wider apart, as much as you can, and then release. Pull the hands down again, straighten your spine a bit more, maybe bring the gaze up and release. Push, release, push, release, push, release, push, release. Lean forward, straighten the legs, forward fold. Legs can, as, can be as long as possible or you can bend them and just hang out. You can grab the opposite elbows or you can just let the hands hang down. 
just hang out here. But if you can, try to straighten the legs a bit more, shift the weight more into your toes, and feel a stretch in the backs of your legs. Breathe slow and deep here. Sink into it a bit more with every exhale. And slowly bend the legs, sit down into your passive squat again, place the hands to the ground behind you, sit down again, bring the legs a bit more forward, we are in a bear sit and we drop the knees over to the left side, we arrive in a 90, 90, 90 degree angle in both legs, that's why. <laughs> bring the knees up to the middle and over to the right side again, over through the middle and to the left side. Pay attention that the legs drop to the ground totally, you can always release the hands and you push the knees down into the ground slightly. Over to the other side, over to the other side, switch, 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 let them land, shift over to the left leg, lean over it, you can place the hands to the ground. You can walk, walk your hands even further to the end of the room and let the forearms land or even the upper body. Think over it and feel a slight stretch in your outer left hip. If you want, push the left knee slightly into the ground, straighten the spine more or sink into it deeper. Also here you can move around, feel free to move to explore what feels different when you move your upper body, when you move your legs slightly or your hips or activate different parts of your body. Always be a bit exploratory. Slowly come up, shift to the other side, knees drop over to the right side, drop them and then Place the hands to the ground, maybe walk them a bit more forward, maybe lean into it more. Right knee pushes into the ground slightly, try to roll the left hip down, so the left hip rolls down, and you sink into it. Maybe you move, maybe you're just passive and you hang out and you just exist here. Slowly come up, pull the left leg in, and roll onto your back. In the laying position, straighten the left leg out, pull the right knee in as much as you can. Bring the right knee over to the left side, straighten the right arm to the right side. Ground the right shoulder, your, your right shoulder is the anchor, and then your right knee sinks to the ground slowly. We are finishing off this little stretch session with twists, because twists are super good to calm down the nervous system, to calm down your whole body. And also wringing out our spine or our center or core, so essential for feeling good. We store so much tension in our spine or in our core area, so it's nice to find some release there. Straighten your right leg out, pull the left knee into your chest. Let's switch sides. Bring the left leg over to the right side, straighten the left arm out. Left shoulder is the anchor. The left knee sinks down lower and lower over time to the right side. 
try to breathe slower. Try to release tension and sink into it deeper with every exhale you take. Slowly come back to center, roll up into a seat. <clears throat> Find a seat that is comfortable for you. Let the hands rest wherever they land. Straighten your spine. Close your eyes for a moment. I want us to breathe for a moment just to calm our nervous system down, to give us some slower, some calmer energy and make the recovery a bit easier, a bit nicer. Exhale completely. Inhale for four, three, two, one, and hold for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale completely for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale for four, three, two, one, and hold for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale for eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale for four, three, two, one. Hold for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale for four, three, two, one. Hold for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale for eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale for four, three, two, one. Hold for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale fully to the top. Exercise out. Inhale fully to the top. Exercise out. Inhale fully to the top. A loud and releasing sigh. And then I open your eyes. We're finished with this one. Thank you so much for practicing with me, for stretching with me. I hope you feel better. I hope you find some benefits with or from this little session. It's so essential to stretch to pay attention for your or to your mobility if you work out if you move weights if you move your body it is so essential that we not only strengthen the body but we also pay attention to the flexibility and the mobility of our whole system otherwise we get rigid we can't move in all the places we used to and we limit ourselves through it so i hope it helped and i hope to see you somewhere on the mat very soon again thank you so much for your time Peace out.